I'm still at the pet barn. I wanted to do this quick video um, about neon tetras and tetra type fish type diseases. Now you probably think that most of these all they're all healthy but yet again uh, as we see with most fish they come with subclinical disease. Um, a lot of fish um, like the fish tend to have different types of disease like as we see with the guppies they tend to have hex and gill flukes. Now these I don't think any of these have gill flukes but tetras just tend to have like a predisposition to microsporidia so neon tetra disease and there's usually about one to five percent of tetras in these pet shop type situations which have microsporidia but you just don't realize so that very skinny one up there microsporidia see how it's it's got muscle wasting so the microsporidia is attacking this it's actually attacking the muscle cells um, in that fish in um, at least this fish here where's my finger that one and it's actually in some other fish too so you can tell by just the general shape of the fish how it's emaciated its muscles wasting it's um quite dull like the color wise I, I think there's quite a few fish in here which are affected by it and then and you have a situation where you bring these fish home and then just they start dying over time and you're like huh I added 20 and now I've got two where did they go did the other fish eat them are they being killed by the other fish or no they're probably dying of this microsporidia neon tetra disease it's very um very per pervasive like you won't know what it is It'll, and then uh, until it's too late until the fish look very strange and mutated and then you'll be like oh i think it is i think it is neon tetra disease and now with these fish the best idea to is to get a few at a time only get three which look the most healthy and largest so like this one here uh, maybe that one uh, that one I don't know it's good to be able to choose them yourself um, so get a few only a few like three and then put them in a QT tank uh, for a few weeks like four and then if they're looking healthy then add them and also having a UV um, filter is really going to help stop the spread of any microsporidian parasite also. And then microsporidia is not actually treatable, so if you do come across, if you do get fish like these tetras and they do have the microsporidia, really what you need to do is just take the fish out and euthanize it because it can't be treated and it's just going to spread through your other tetras. It doesn't tend to affect other fish because it's uh, species specific like seeing but it will wipe out all your tetras and especially because they're gonna get more they're gonna get stressed from the transport as well so that's gonna make them more likely for it to spread so some are more affected than others like you can see that one there is kind of struggling um so it's a really good idea to just start with a few three quarantine them and then when they're healthy then add them and then just do that until you've got enough of the fish because each fish has got a, is, is a risk of disease in itself and um so yeah i'd say between one and five percent or something of these are infected it might actually be more because it does take a while to show the infection and cardinals are not actually immune there's just some sort of myth that cardinals are immune they're, they're just not because there's no such thing really as being immune um to this so the other species don't catch this though but they do have their own microsporidia so hopefully that does help somebody see if i was going to get these fish right now i would just get three put them in a qt for a few months um and move them over i mean you don't have to use any medication with these because uh they're usually just microsporidia that can't be treated so um uh they do tend to get white spot also so adding some methylene blue um, for tetras is a, probably a good idea. And um, yeah, so hopefully that helps somebody. So choosing the biggest one with the brightest color, biggest ones with the brightest color. Don't choose dull fish, don't choose ones which are anorexic or... See, look at how anorexic that one is, microsporidia.